Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. There's a lot of misinformation going on right now about the coronavirus. The latest piece of information that I saw circulating around the internet is that black people or those of African descent somehow are immune or resistant to the coronavirus. How can this be possible? Is it even true? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna discuss in this video, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? This is Dr. Enoch Cote, the primary care physician you can trust, breaking down the topics you care about in a way that you can understand. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to remind you to, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Trust PCP and hit that bell notification icon so you can get updates on the latest videos addressing the hottest topics in the world of primary care. Anyway, <laughs> I've actually rubbed elbows with a couple of strange viruses in the past myself. Uh, for example, in 2014, when they brought those Americans to the United States to be treated for Ebola, guess where they brought them? To Ember University Hospital when I was smack dab in the middle of residency over there, rotating in and out of that hospital. And when the Zika virus broke out, I actually identified a few cases in my primary care clinic. And now we have the coronavirus, which has made its way to the United States with about 15 confirmed cases up to date. And when I go on the internet and social media, I just see a few rumors here and there that black people or people of African descent somehow are immune or resistant to the coronavirus. So I just wanted to address this issue. Now, let's say hypothetically that something like that actually was true for a second. Believe it or not, it actually wouldn't be the first time in history that Africans have shown some kind of immunity or protection against a dangerous infection. Let's take, for example, malaria and sickle cell. Now, as you may know, uh, members of the African diaspora have a higher incidence of sickle cell disease and sickle cell trait. And this is thought to be an example of natural selection because when you have sickle cell disease or sickle cell trait, um, you're, like, you're less likely to have a serious infection from malaria. And the reason for this is because when you have one of these mutations in your blood, then your red blood cells don't last for as long in your body. And malaria, which is a parasite that actually lives in the red blood cells, is not able to complete its life cycle the way it's supposed to. But even in this example, it doesn't mean that uh, black people or people with sickle cell disease or trait can't get malaria. It just means that they're less likely to have a serious infection or serious illness as a result of being infected with it. Another example is HIV and a CCR5 mutation. Now, as you may recall, last year I made a video on the HIV cure and I did talk about the CCR5 receptor, which is on the surface of immune system cells. And this is the receptor that HIV needs to latch onto in order to infect the cell. Now, some people have a mutation in this, so therefore they're not able to be infected with HIV. And a lot of the information that we know about this mutation comes from some studies done on a tribe in Sudan where quite a few people actually had this mutation. So considering all that, could it be possible that maybe black people or those of African descent are somehow immune to the coronavirus? Well, the short answer is no. This idea first came up when Kem Sinu Pavodero, a 21-year-old Cameroonian student studying abroad in China, uh, came down with the coronavirus and was treated for a couple of weeks with antibiotics and supportive care and recovered very nicely. So when that happened, there was some reports of people saying that because of his black skin, he was able to recover so well and that he's somehow immune to the coronavirus. Uh, but this myth was debunked and it turns out that that's not true at all. There's absolutely no evidence that anybody who's black or of African descent has any type of protection or immunity against coronavirus. And we knew it was only a matter of time, but the coronavirus has reached the African continent. First Egypt and then Algeria, and now Nigeria is the first sub-Saharan country to have a case of coronavirus. So to conclude, I just wanna leave you with a few takeaways. Number one is to only get your information from cdc.gov. That's because there's a lot of different sources out there. It's hard to determine which ones are sensationalist reporting versus this kind of actual fact. And CDC is always up to date um, with the most accurate information. Number two is to trust and commend the hardworking men and women who have worked around the clock to control the spread of this virus. The coronavirus outbreak could have been a lot worse than it has been up to date. And because of their quick actions, we're actually in a pretty good place right now. So let's see what happens going forward. Number three, if you're in one of those states that hasn't had any coronavirus cases and you're freaking out over this, you better not be one of those people saying that you don't need a flu shot. Because like I said, so far only 15 confirmed cases in the whole entire country 
of coronavirus versus 32 million cases of flu and 18,000 deaths so far this flu season. So that's the much more imminent threat. Number four, wash your hands often because hand hygiene is one of the best weapons we got in regards to infection control. It's cheap, easy, doesn't require a lot of resources, and studies show that it can be highly effective. And number five, just make sure you're taking care of yourself and your family. Eat a healthy and balanced diet. Boost your immune system. Personally, I like to use emergency. Now, the data is mixed in terms of whether or not vitamin C supplements can truly shorten the duration of colds or protect against viral illnesses, but from a personal experience, it's worked great over the past couple of years. Now, obviously, this isn't the answer to fighting off something like the coronavirus if you come down with it, but with all these other viruses going around in the community, it can be pretty effective. Please give me a like and drop any questions that you might have down below. Thanks for watching and peace out.